Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little adorable little cupcake. Um, I noticed how to make this when I was doing a different tutorial and I just thought it was too cute not to share. I know that there's different um, little cupcakes kind of like this, but this one um, I think is made kind of in a totally different way than what I've ever seen before, so I had to share so that you can make one too. Um, what makes this neat is that how it's made is, you know, we have the cute little cake part and then, you know, it's got the little edge for the cupcake and then the nice little top part and the reason why it's different is because it's basically just made as kind of like a tube and it's just folded down upon itself to make an adorable little cupcake so cute it's easy uh, band wise it is 50 bands for like the cake part on the bottom and then the ruffle the pink on this one is 24 bands and then the top portion the whole white part is 38 bands and I did make one that had like crazy colors on the top so you can divide it up and have different looks for it so you can if you don't have 38 white bands then you can just kind of change up the colors and make it different so we'll get started so on the loom wrong end towards me and we'll start by making a starburst and that is going from the center pin out to the six pins around with two bands. Everything will be double banded. Doesn't really matter where you start. This portion that we're putting on right now is would be the purple one on that cupcake. And on the center pin, we'll do a cap band. It'll be two bands wrapped around three times. So one, two, and three. And then you'll take your hook, go in through the cap band, and then you'll grab the top two bands wherever they are and pull them back towards themselves. And you just go all the way around to all of them. Like that. Push all of it down. And then the next color that we're going to put on ends up being the ruffle edge on the cupcake. So we're going to do a row all the way around, but when we put our first bands on, we're going to cross them. So you put them on and cross them. Let's do that again. Cross them. I'm going to do that all the way around. And this is the ruffle edge color. like that. Push those down. Then we'll do another row all the way around and I make it the same color as part of the ruffle. And these just go on normally. Losing my voice. Like that. And then we're going to flip the middle four bands. So my bottom starburst bands that are pink, I'm going to leave those alone. And then I have the middle four bands that were part of the cross row. Those are the ones that I'm going to flip over the top and we'll leave the last row alone. So find those middle four bands and flip them over. Like that. Make sure that you're not, you didn't pull up any of the 
first starburst bands over. And you push that down. Now we'll do another row all the way around. And this would end up being the pink on this one. But I'm going to make it the same color as the top of my cupcake or my starburst. So it's two bands. We'll go all the way around. Like that. Then you'll flip the middle four again. Push down. Then we'll do another row all the way around. And this would end up being the the yellow on your cupcake. I believe. Yes. I'm going to do the same pink. Like that. Again, flip that middle four. And then once you have those all flipped over, you'll come back and you'll flip over the bottom four that are part of that starburst all the way around. Like that. Then I'm going to push that down. And now you can take your hook and go in and find the center and just kind of pull it up a little bit. Try not to grab like your orange, in my case my orange ruffle row when you're doing this because you'll kind of distort the outside edge. It only comes up a little bit. but And now we're going to do is four rows all the way around in the color of your cake bottom. So two bands. Just go all the way around. This will be our first row. Like that. Flip your bottom four. down. So that's one row. I'm going to do a second row. Flip the bottom four. Again, I'm going to pull the center a little bit. There we go. Push it down. And we'll do our third row around. Flip the bottom four. Push 
down. Then one more row all the way around. You get super creative and like, or do a whole bunch of them all at once, different colors. Have a sweet little dozen mini cupcakes. Like that. Flip the bottom four. play with the colors. Lots of crazy things. So once you have that, we're ready to take it off the loom. So you just take your hook, go in through the bands on the pin, pull them off onto your hook all the way around. And you want to make sure that this part stays kind of popped up as you go around. Watch your last pin as you get there to make sure that you don't accidentally pop the bands off before you have your hook in there that. And then you'll take two bands, pull them through everything. Try not to snag other things. Both ends on the hook. Make a slip knot. Then before you pull tight, push that bottom flat. And once it's flat, pull tight, and you can hide your tail. Like that. So now it looks like this. It's so not the fun part. So see what it looks like now. Take your fingers, get into that top portion, stretch it out, and then just flip it over. Look at how cute that is and how super easy that was. You have this adorable little cupcake. I think that is awesome. I just think it's so cute. So cute. So I know it's not something with a happy face, but I also have a tendency to love things that are just tiny and adorable and this definitely fits in there so and look at how quick we made this super quick the time is awesome so I hope you enjoyed it it's fun it's cute I like if I see those cute little things I have to share them so but thank you guys very much for watching I hope you liked it if you make some make a dozen make a well make a couple dozen and you can share them with me on my Instagram which is at crafting fantastic or on my Facebook page, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when I'm coming out with new things. And don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up and spread the word so that other people can enjoy them just like you are. Thanks you guys so much, and I will have more for you soon.